What's up everybody, Peter McKinnon here. Welcome back to yet another video. So great to have you here and see all of your smiling faces. That's the Two Minute Tuesday intro. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Get it together. What's up everybody, Peter McKinnon here. Welcome back to yet another video today. Wait, you don't even have to type it in the comments. You don't have to tweet it. You don't have to email it, DM it. Today, we're talking Fiverr winners from the 72 hour short film challenge. Now, before we get into the winners, yes, it was 72 hours for you to create the film. It took a long time to go through the, what is it, three and a half thousand different short films. There was a lot to watch and it, and it took quite a while on top of being stacked with the, the different camera releases and other videos that we had planned to come out before that. So I apologize if you've been waiting on the edge of your seat, on the very edge of your seat, waiting for those results. And I apologize, but I also thank you to everybody that submitted short films, okay? Let me just give the scope of this. This wasn't just your neighborhood, your immediate surrounding, your town, your city, your province, your state, your subdivision, whatever. This was global. People submitted from all over the world. Different people from different areas of life, different cultures, different ages, different passions. Just an amalgamation of dope people creating awesome content for this contest, which was really cool to see. Ranging different topics from toys to travel to comedy and food and beverage. And it was just the scale was massive. A massive thanks to everyone around the world who came together to submit for this contest. Test. Awesome. Thank you. It's not easy to muster up a short film in 72 hours to be creative and get whatever help you can or had no help at all or come up with a theme and film it yourself and edit it and submit it in time. And it's stressful. It's a lot of work, but a lot of you guys came through and you did an incredible job. So thank you. So now let's talk winners. Okay, let's start things off. Let's kick things off with third place, which is the $1,000 gift card, 1,000 Fiverr credits, the PM bag, the drone, all of the things. That goes to Jordan Dunseith. Jordan, great job. Before we get into things, let's roll her film. About four months ago, I left my full-time job to pursue the thing that I've always known I was supposed to be doing. And I was so blessed because right out of the gate, I had like seven freelance gigs set up for me. So I invested in some equipment to prepare for those jobs, expecting them to pay back. And then quarantine hit and I lost all of them. But I was still at peace with my decision because this is my passion. This is what I've wanted to do for so long. So I spent the quarantine diving into my why. Why did I quit? Why do I want to pursue this? What drives me? What motivates me to start my own business, to push forward in times like these? And I came up with some really amazing why, some really good goals. But I kept coming up against this thing, this thing that I want to ignore. And frankly, I have for a few months, um, but I can't. I have my cousin up here visiting me from out of town. and We're set to go on a lot of adventures this weekend and to explore Oregon. And I want to film it. But I keep thinking, okay, well, I'm going to film it and I'm going to love it and I'm going to enjoy it because it's my passion. But then what? What do I do with the footage? Last night I hopped on YouTube and I came across Peter McKinnon's 72 hour short film contest. And it clicked. No more excuses. I'm starting this YouTube channel. So I guess I just want to say a few things. First, thank you, Peter, and all the other filmmakers who've inspired me and helped me better my craft. And second, I hope to show women that we can be filmmakers too. I mean, look at little Miss 
twig arms carrying a ronin for eight miles. <laughs> So let's start off by saying good job on carrying the Ronin for that uh, that entire trek, because yes, that would most certainly get heavy, so good job. I loved that the film started with the window opening and it ended the same way. The background was lit really nice. Your whole interview was lit really, really nice. I loved the story and how you used notes of inspiration to carry the story, which is something that I'm very much a fan of and I do a lot in my own work. So I resonated with that and it was a great message. And I loved it at the end where you said, women can be filmmakers too. So it was very inspiring with a great message. So you should be proud. You're taking home third place. Again, thank you so much for submitting. Okay, second place winner, $2,500 gift card to BH Photo. All of the other things as well goes to a film called Try Again by Daniel Schmidt. Let's take a look at that film. password is incorrect. 
Okay, so that was fantastic. This was one of my favorites. It stood out immediately. I loved this because it is a perfect example of not needing a ton of crazy equipment, not needing tons of people, tons of time. It just takes a great idea, a great story, a great punchline, something that everyone is capable of despite the equipment that you're filming it on. If we look at this film and we break it down, not a lot happened. We had some feet go down the stairs, we had some coffee be made, super fast, to the point, not overdone. We didn't see too many shots, Peter. You understand what's happening. Back up to the computer, and then we had a beautiful moment of suspense when the knuckles were cracked, the fingers come down, and it holds. That moment where it holds is both funny and suspenseful. The camera comes around, it pans around it, and it wasn't panning on a slider, it wasn't panning on a motor. There was shake in it, and it didn't matter because it still got through what it needed to get through. It was funny and suspenseful, and it hung until the music starts and the playing begins. Now, what's funny about this is I felt like the playing part maybe dragged out a little bit too long until I got to the end and saw the punchline, which then made it all make sense and made it funny and made what I felt was maybe dragging a little purposeful. So this film was fantastic and it was short, to the point, very funny, very well done. Second place, incredibly well earned. Daniel Schmidt, good job. <laughs> Wasn't that great? <laughs>Okay, the grand prize, the first place winner of the 72 hour challenge goes to a film called Rendezvous by Etienne, I believe it's pronounced Etienne Millet. I believe you're from France and I'm sure I pronounced your name incorrectly. I apologize, but I made, I made an effort and you, my friend, have won the 72 hour film challenge. So congratulations. Let's take a look at his film. Let's roll it right now. Ça fait deux mois que je l'attends. Ces 61 nuits et jours loin d'elle n'ont comme jamais existé. Comme si le temps n'avait plus de sens quand elle manque, quand elle est absente. L'écho des deux sœurs sur mon poignet me rappelle que ce temps, je l'ai subi, seul, entre quatre murs. Elle rythmait mes journées, un lent tempo qui ne faisait que se répéter. Alors je commençais doucement à suffoquer, je, je m'asphyxiais, un besoin d'elle, de son oxygène, de son atmosphère. J'attends qu'elle rentre de son long voyage. Elle a besoin de repos, elle aussi. Elle donne tellement. Je te vois partout dans les journaux, à la télé, j'entends ta voix à la radio et je me demande, je me demande si tu vas bien, si tu vas t'en remettre. Et je sais que quand on se reverra, on ne pourra pas faire comme si rien ne s'était passé. C'est l'heure. C'est l'heure. C'est l'heure aujourd'hui. Aujourd'hui, les yeux brûlants s'accrochent aux premières lueurs. Un pied hors du dedans. Et puis l'autre qui suit timidement. Elle est bientôt là. Je crois l'entendre. Ça y est, je la vois. Elle ouvre ses volets. Sort dans la rue. Dévore les avenues. Je, je sens son odeur dans les cafés, les boulangeries. Et doucement, je lui souris. Je veux la prendre dans mes bras. Je veux l'embrasser, la croquer. Entendre ses murmures incessants. Ces discussions innocentes, son vacarme apaisant. Je veux retrouver ses joies, ses peines, ses succès, ses échecs, ses attentes et ses surprises. Je veux l'admirer tout entière, car elle n'est jamais similaire. Il me faut de la hauteur pour apprécier sa grandeur. Sentir son souffle dans mes poumons Comme une bouche sur la mienne Comme un bouche à bouche à distance Qui m'insuffle à nouveau cette envie Cette vie La vie
Well done. I think there's so many things about this that I love. One, I loved that it was done in French. So the subtitles, that was amazing. The voiceover was so good. The passion in your voice or the actor's voice or whomever the voiceover's voice was basically increased as the film moved and moved on towards the end, getting more and more excited, which got me excited. But I think what I was most impressed by is a subtlety that just shows the attention to detail, which was the color grade shifted from a cold blue at the start to a warm ending, which perfectly follows the theme of the film as it's going from lockdown, isolation, all the way to apparently back to normal life, leading you from the beginning thinking he's talking about a female or someone, and then you realize at the end he's talking about life, and earth, and the world. The compositions in this, this shop sitting between the subways, instantly huge fan. The two opening shots, little person, big place, striking compositions, uh, the sound design, the music choice, just really, really well done. Congratulations, you win the $5,000 gift card, 5,000 Fiverr credits, and all of the other prizes as well. And you should be proud because you are a very talented filmmaker and I'm very appreciative of you submitting. And to everyone that submitted, thank you so much. You are all talented filmmakers who all put yourself out there. You rose to the occasion, you saw the challenge, you accepted and you delivered. So you should be proud of that. So. Thank you so much. All the other honorable mentions and such are to be found at www.theshortfilmchallenge.com. You guys are amazing. Okay guys, that is it for the 72 hour filmmaker challenge sponsored by Fiverr. Check out the link in my description below for my curated store of my favorite Fiverr sellers. Those are in the description below. Go ahead, click on that link. It helps me out. Show some people on Fiverr some love. A big thanks to Fiverr for putting this together, for making the website, for facilitating all the prizes and all the sponsors included. BH, Nomadic, DJI, SwitchPod. Without you guys, this wouldn't have been possible. So thank you so much to everyone who put this together. Fiverr did an incredible job. And hey, you know what? Maybe we should do this again. Maybe we need a summer filmmaking challenge with a theme. That could be fun. Should we do that? Let me know in the comments below. Do we do another filmmaking challenge? Thanks so much, folks. Hope you enjoyed watching the films. Thank you for participating and uh, get out there and be creative. You don't need a whole lot to do it. See you in the next one. Are we doing the hat or is it just we're just turning off the camera? It's the new thing, right? I'll see you. I'll see you. It's just I think it's the turn off in the camera. You know, they say I don't know who they is, but it's it is said that you're supposed to drink is it a half gallon a day? Eight it's glasses. Eight glass but what how many gallons? That's a measurements, math, that's uh, whatever. You guys are supposed to drink a lot of water every day. Hey, we haven't done a video behind this set in a while. We added a new light. Power that off so they can see the uh, the difference. Watch, see this whole, this beautiful piece of Canadian black walnut that my friend made me, Matt? All right, you can't see it. Bam. Ah. Magnet. I get distracted real easy. Ah! I try to drink this every day. I've only done it once. <laughs> I've been trying for a year. <laughs> but once, that means it can be done.